Well, good morning. I feel like a lucky detective this morning. Always standing guard. Three boys want to be in my lap at the same time. That ain't gonna happen. You know what I did? I can't take one damn pill this morning. My damn pops over there. So I'll just take it after I get to making a video. That'll work. What's the matter? You want me to cover you up, boy? He said, "Yep." He said, "Cover me up. It's cold. You got the fan running." But anyway, I got to go out and get my medicine yesterday. The other round of antibiotics. First bout round made me feel pretty good. So I hope this other one chases it off. I can't take it with them. Unless I want to drink distilled water from my art supplies. I don't want to do that. So I'm taking this close around me. Uh, I've been working on my painting. I went shopping though. I uh, bought some stuff. I bought some of them big old tubs to put some supplies in that you get uh, at Walmart. I decided I'm gonna put my stuff in that stuff and stack it to the damn ceiling. And that way I have a, a row for art, a row for jewelry, and a row for everything else and try to keep my tables empty. Other than what I want to get into some, uh, the tub. That's what I'm planning on doing. I don't know how the hell that's gonna work, but I'm going to. But like I said, uh, the boys, the only one that went out was Big Boy, and then he started barking at something. So I would have had to jump out of the shower half tile off and then open the back door because I didn't want him barking at something I didn't see. So he couldn't have run it in. Big old yellow cat's what he barks at. Or he'll run up and scratch the door like, let me in for this tagger gets me. Uh, but Or he had been out since he fell off the back of this tree. You know, he ain't been up here since for a while. He fell asleep and fell off backwards, poor thing. Now he just sits beside me between my feet. You know, like, let, don't let me get hurt. I like to wish they made a platform or something with a little rail around it. You hook on the back of your chair. I'm going to look, look, look that up. Like a cat pedestal or something. Because he likes to get up high. Mm. Uh, but anyway, let's see what my sugar level is. 5,000 probably. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, I stopped at two thrift stores. The first thrift store I bought. What the hell did I buy? I don't know. But I bought something. Uh, oh, I bought some uh, sleeping shorts. Well, I also painted them. So they sometimes they get pretty bad. They're just cotton shorts. You can get them over there for three dollars. You can buy them at Walmart sometimes for three dollars, brand new. But anyway, I hate to get paid on brand new ones, so I bought that pair of them. Oh, and when I was over there, there's a little girl that worked there. I thought she had five dollars on the card, and she had one of them little lights that you plug into your phone or plug it into your uh, USB outlet or whatever the hell you want to call it, and. Uh, it went up, lit up like a little Christmas tree, you know. Little layers went up, little layers went down to different colors, and you set the colors. And it was three dollars, so I bought her that. She was happy as a lark. She said, "Well, I thought I had five dollars on my card, but that place only takes eight credit cards or debit cards." So she was happy. And I told the girls I need to bring them some rings and some jewelry. I buy jewelry over there. They sell me old junk jewelry for a dollar a piece. So, and then we got a tip jar. I said, where's your tip jar? We put it back here. Somebody took my took the money out of it. I said, what the hell? Crazy ass people. And I, uh, so, I got all that situated and left. But I'd seen a toaster oven in there, and I thought about buying it. I don't need one. I've got one in the Amos, one in the bus, uh, two in here. Well, I actually got three, I think, in here, two or three. I know I got two real close. 
one on each end of the kitchen, one the dining room. It's a big you can cook a turkey in that sort of Anyway, this was an electronic one, but I don't like them. I got that's what I got in the bus. I mean, not the Hammonds, I mean. Uh, it's like a little rotisserie I've been missing was. But the rotisserie bar was missing. And that was all it was brand new this you didn't have a rotisserie bar. But anyway, I left. It was ten bucks. I thought about getting it, but didn't. So then I went to Goodwill. Every damn thing at Goodwill is four nineteen or six ninety nine. Take your pick. So I found a uh, rack that I'm gonna hang earrings off of, and then when I go to the sale at the at the show, they have a little uh, theater uh, flea market. Uh, every Saturday morning till about two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna get there early one of these days. It don't rain, snow, or sleet. Might have to wait till next year. And uh, I'm gonna set up and sell jewelry and odds and ends that I don't want in this house no more. Uh, so uh, I also bought a, a, a glass skillet because I collect them, you know, them uh, bronze. Uh, cookware, glass cookware, over on top of everything else. Uh, my wife used to cook at them, and she dropped them. She, her hands went out from under, and she dropped one in one day, and that was the end of them. So I replaced that skillet she, she, lost, she broke. It was a great big skillet. And uh, I, did, I waited for years to find one, but I found it, and then I bought that some bye bye there. Mm. So. Anyway, there's three, three, four items. Oh, yeah, three, yeah, three or four items. And then we left there, and we went to, uh, we went to Walmart to get my medicine. Well, it was lunchtime, so that they wouldn't in. I went ahead and bought all my groceries that I'd put in the sack, which nothing, you know, wasn't nothing serious, just milk. And we like 20 minutes before they opened up, so. I was talking to my son, and he said, he's saying, uh, he likes pot pies. They're easy for him to cook. And he'd been putting them in the microwave, and they're sort of doughy after that, they don't get brown. So I said, Chris, I said, there's a toaster oven over there at that first uh, thrift store, brand new one. He said, well, I got the money right now. I said, well, that's all right, I'll run over and get it for you. So we said, so take me back over there. So we did that, came back, got my medicine, Found out uh, I had to fill out papers to get the, uh, uh, the my derma shot for, uh, you know, uh, spirit cases that have the immune system, whatever. Uh, but the derma is supposed to be a longer lasting than the other one, and then Johnson and Johnson really ain't on the market yet. Anyway, I didn't have that one anyway. I had a Moderma. But anyway, uh, so I'll have to wait to take, I finish taking my steroids and my antibiotics for about a week to 10 days before I can take that shot. And I want to be well before I take it anyway. I don't want to be sick. And I'll, then I'll have my booster. And then, uh, let's see, we, uh, we left after I got my medicine. Chris didn't even go in. Uh, just all I had to just run back in there and get in. And then we've headed home. Well, it looked like a big fire out by Crescent on the Cedar Valley, so it was. Not so long the way home. And it was a big one. It didn't even hit the news. And um, I no more got home. Well, we started to turn on uh, off the 33 on the 74. And uh, there's a woman there that always goes to the uh, that little flea market I was talking about. So uh, I looked all over. She, you know, poor woman, she, she's on Social Security. I got acquainted with her after the flea market. She gets 900 a month, I think is what all she is. Little black woman. Uh, oh, that little girl was uh, a little black handicapped girl. I bought that little meal for her. She's sweetest, sweetest gold. And that old elderly lady. She's close to my age, and uh, so I always buy something off of her. So I bought a, it's a, it's one of them crock pops that, that deal about that tall, 
it's like a cookie jar, but it's got a Bavarian seed on the outside. It's that nice porcelain stuff. It's got holes in it. It's, it's put a candle in it, but I'm not going to put a candle in it. I'm going to either put a electronic light of some sort, a battery operator or something, and uh, and then I'm going to paint the outside, finish painting it. it ain't been painted long. So I have to give it five dollars for that, and then head it home. I no more got in the door, and my sister was ringing the phone off the wall. She thought I'd went to sleep during the day, and she didn't know exactly how close that fire was. It was five miles away. She said, "Yeah, but it can move real fast with wind blowing." Got home, turned in the driveway. The wind was so strong it blew the trash can over. Uh, it uh, it was full of some trash too. Chris got out and pushed, put the trash back in it and set it up so the trash man can get it. And then uh, had some plastic gas cans in the yard that I cleaned and set out for, uh, uh, that I usually haul when I haul my generator. So he picked them up and stacked them back and uh, got in the house and my sister was ringing the phone off the wall. And she, she, she wouldn't let me go back to sleep. And then she finally hung up, promised her I'd call her back if anything got bad, and uh, and stay awake for a couple hours or whatever she said. But I did because I stayed awake to two o'clock in the morning. Uh, it was actually about two thirty. I felt good enough to wash my dishes at late at night. But uh, after she got off the phone, she was stayed on about thirty minutes. Uh, my two nieces from Idaho called, wanted me to send them some electronic pictures and stuff. And what else? Then I had to, my uh, granddaughter, I talked to her, it was her birthday. And tomorrow's my, but today is my daughter's birthday. That was her daughter's birthday the day before. And uh, I wished her, I wished her a happy birthday last night about 2.30, she was asleep. She got up this morning and told me, thank you, I love you. And I also said I'd call her tonight. So I've been living a busy life. A busy little life. Let's see what my sugar level is. I got the thinnest fingernails of anybody I know. And I got a calcium deficiency. I guess. I don't know what it is. Don't give me a line. One twenty seven. Can't beat that. Case. Oh, there it is. Yep. So I'm glad I'm getting feeling a little bit better. Oh, I worked a little bit on my painting. I got stage two and done. I'll have to send you a video on that. Oh, let me see what else I did. I I'm going to start buying them bins. I found one of them. That I wanted a great big white clear one. And uh, I'm going to put, I don't know what table to clear off first. I think I'll clear off my artist table. Because I'd like to be back there sitting in that other straight up chair painting as I was sitting in this recliner leaning forward. I make too damn much jewelry to clear it off. And then my book, I should clean off my book making table. But I turned it into an artist table. And I'd have to move every damn thing over. Uh, now I'll leave the book table alone. I'll just clear off the artist table. Uh, I need to clear off a lot of shit. Uh, that's what I need to do. I had to pick that. Oh, the 
phone company's going to reroute me on my fiber optics since I told them they ain't going to come do the drive where the damn bus wouldn't start. Batteries low. I didn't feel like tromping through the damn underbelly and hooking up a battery charger. I just plugged in the slow trickle charge and see how good that works. Yeah, I won't work on it. What the hell? That's what I said. I didn't put no damn... I have dry skin on this side of my face since my cancer was on this side. I guess it cut off some blood vessels because I've always had dry skin over here. And I usually put some Vaseline in the inside of this ear. Yeah, especially when you get out of the tub, well, out of the shower. And a shower dries your skin out, a tub won't. Anyway, that's a piece of information you need to know. For you women. That's why Chinese women have such big, beautiful skin. They uh, take hot, uh, like hot baths, or hot tub baths. They bathe first, and then they go soak in a hot tub. It puts all the moisture back in their skin. That's what that does. Now you know. Shit, I need, need to be boiled in the damn hot tub. Uh, oh, let's see what else it's going to do today. Hell, I don't know. I'm glad I washed them damn dishes. Cleaned out the half cooked food. I cleaned out the refrigerator the day before so I could get food that I didn't eat threw away in the trash. So I'm feeling a little bit better, a little bit better. Better, better, better. I know what I'll think I'll do. I'll take the book, making stuff, and make it into a sewing table. I ain't made a book in a year, year and a half or so. So hell, I'll put that shit back up. And then make it into a sewing table. I think that's what I'll do. I got three different types of big heavy duty sewing machines. I want to sew hats. You know, you punch a button and write people's names in it and stuff. Man, I gave that project up. They got so damn many hats now that the, you can just buy a sticker and put on the damn thing. That's what my granddaughter does. From thoughts to things. Uh, she's, she's going back to work. This COVID's been hard on them. Both of them had COVID. And three of the kids, no little, I think the oldest one's eight or nine. All of them had it, but the uh, one of the little boy twins, I think. It was girl and boy twin, one of the boys. The boy didn't have it. Or didn't get it, whatever. Or if he did, he wasn't affected by it. I mean, if I catch the COVID, I'm a dead man. That's why I want that booster shot. Uh, it's what life's all about. There you go. I just got too much crap to say grace over. That's why I wanted to set me up a little stand there and sit for about four hours every Saturday morning. I get there at six and leave about one, maybe. Or get there about seven and leave about oh, one, or two, one or two. Probably stay to two since it's cooled off or going to cool off the time I get there. If I get there all all this year. I got a whole bunch of stuff I can get rid of. Things I did about thought I wanted. And I, I got two or three sets of night visions. You only need one, I only got one set of eyeballs. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I got some old gun cases I can get rid of. I 
Got rid of the guns a long, them guns a long time ago. That is mainly pistol harnesses. One you can wear up underneath your coat. One you clip on your belt. Get rid of them. Don't leave them to anymore. I don't use them. They're for a nine millimeter. <clears throat> you put a lot of different guns in it, but the base action made for a nine millimeter. Uh, what else? Just a bunch of damn odds and ends. That's what I get rid of. Bunch. I need to make some more bracelets. Maybe I'll go there next year after making jewelry all, all winter. Uh, something like that. Hell, I might set a painting up and see if it's sale. I doubt it. Uh, I'm going to take my jewelry and make it stuff and make jewelry on demand. You know, make button rings or stone, little stone rings that don't take five minutes to make. You get five, about five, ten bucks out of some of them. I found out a lot of people buy copper rings because their, their knuckles have got arthritis in them so bad. Or copper braces because their hands ache. Yeah, it'll make a copper ring around your arm, a brass ring around your arm. Around your finger, like a turn green. But that green is copper and it helps your joints. I'll probably find out in years to come. They used to put rub WD-40 on their hand, their hands and joints. And found out what it relieved the pain, but it was damn, it was lead. That's what used to, is in WD-40 lead. So they give you lead poison. They quit that shit when they found out what was in, you know. Where you going, Or? You can walk over there. You're so old and blind, poor baby. You can go, I've got your bridge, because I don't want you jumping anymore. You can step on my uh, art case and get, I mean, my uh, painting box and then you walk right over there. You can go there, yes you can. Here, I'll cover you up, you're still acting like you're cold. Come here, cover up. That's a good baby. He ain't grumbling at me anyway. Hmm. I don't need a mat for me this morning. Well, move the box over to just suit your damn self. He knows he's got the run of this house. Well, now you can go up there if you want to go. You can walk right there. <laughs> he just had to walk. I'm not letting you sit on the top of the damn paint box. Because I do what the hell I want to. You'll fall asleep up there and fall off. You're bound to determined to be putting the rest of them. Oh, I got the hiccups now. I ain't even putting them damn medicine. I just checked and seen if my... Right, I want... I got a damn stop that nose. Let me check my auction right I feel good, though. Got dangerously low there once. I had to bring in my uh, my concentrator and plug it up back up my nose. Ninety-eight, ninety-eight, eighty-six pulse. So I'm in good shape. I'll live today. I'm sitting in bed tomorrow. And keep my damn blood pressure. I know I ain't got no fever now. I know I to put damn thermometer in my mouth. I got two or three of these damn wrist, wrist cuffs and two or three of them damn ones that go around your sleeve of your arm. I like this one better. It's got bigger numbers. I can see the damn thing. You put these on the inside of your wrist, not on the outside. That's where all your blood veins are at. So they can feel your pulse. That's pumping up.
Oh, he didn't like that damn sound. But it's all right. Lay back down. I'll tell you when you're in danger. He's scared of spiders. He's scared of every damn thing. That's what happened to be raised in a puppy mill. And then go to a dog pound and go to prison. Too much concrete. It's 125 over 80, 83 pulse. That's what I say. You can look at it yourself. I guess that's pretty good. Bottom number is a little high, but it's under 90, so I ain't gonna worry about it. Well, I did all my vitals anyway. All but the temperature, and I don't need it. I don't feel hot at all. I ain't sweaty and clammy. And I'm busy talking, so I ain't gonna use that. It says on this box, that, now this is supposed to be a perfect blood pressure. It does say 120 over 80 on the damn box. Look at this shit. Damn, I'm good. Shit, like a young man now. Uh, get enough damn pills in me, I'll be great. My lucky tiger, it's great. You know what? 